Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jennifer here. I thought I'd just sit down and kind of share with you a couple of tips of going to SeaWorld for the first time. For us, it was back in September. Our kids were five and three. Um, we were visiting our family and while we were down there, we decided, hey, like, let's do it. I'll share with you the first tip. The first one is plan on arriving there early. Uh, you just don't know what the traffic is going to be like. You don't um we had prepaid the parking um so that made it really really easy because all we had to do is show them the ticket that we already had prepaid we went in uh, thankfully it was still like early enough so there was a lot of parking spaces available so we were able to park really easily number two is download the sea world app uh this app is amazing it, for me i looked at it in advance so i know which show times were available and i was able to kind of utilize the app when we were trying to move from one location to another number three um uh, have a stroller especially if you're traveling with a toddler they get tired real quick and having a stroller really helped us out because we were to use it really easily and move around uh, rel relatively quickly around the park. I don't know if this three or four, but number three, uh, just make sure you kind of plan your day or have an idea in mind where you want to hit. For us, we knew in reality, there was no way we were going to be able to go through the whole park. So we actually chose like two exhibits that we would like to check out, especially like the exhibit that they had expressly told us that they would like to see. For our kids, it was like turtles, dolphins, and then I think sharks. So we really tried hard to make sure we were hitting the exhibits that we needed to so that they get that experience. Number four, is it four? I don't even know. I mean, book an experience. It could be a show. It could be anything really. For us, it was uh, dining with orcas. Um, it worked out really great because what we did was we hit the dolphin exhibit, checked out the dolphins, and then by the time we knew it, it was time for us to head over. And it was quite a walk because we had to cross the bridge and we were able to kind of take the scenic route, see things as we were on the way. And by the end of it, the kids were really tired. We were heat exhausted. And just being able to sit down, have food come to you while you're watching the Orca show was really, really nice because you just don't have to think that there's entertainment being provided. Um, last but not least, I'm sure there's millions of tips that I can give you guys, but last but not least that I really want to share with you is just enjoy, you know, just enjoy everything. Uh, the the experience in itself, just being there with your family and with your kids. There's going to be some crying. There's going to be complaining. And sometimes they may just not remember the key moments that you want them to remember with that experience. And that's the hardest reality that I had to learn during the trip was that I had done all of these things, planned all of these things for them. But at the end of it, if you were to ask my son, he would tell you that his memorable key moments of the Sea World trip is winning a carnival game and um, being able to get the, I think it's like the squirrel Pokemon stuffed animal. And if you were to ask my daughter, she would tell you is to, is her key moment is getting the bubble wand from the store. Uh, and that's something like my husband reminded me throughout the trip is like, hey, you know, like this is stressful and, you know, kids are crying, but hey, aren't we here and aren't we enjoying the moments together? And, you know, at the end of it, like not everybody gets the chance to, you know, enjoy that experience or be able to go to the SeaWorld trip. And for us, and we were able to and create that experience for our kids. And for that, I am very grateful. So all that to say is enjoy it. Don't stress so much. Um, kids going to cry. Nobody really cares at the end of the day because if you're a parent, you understand, right? If a kid's crying in public. Uh, but anyway, that's enough talking. I hope these tips actually helped you guys out. Enjoy the vlog.